Hello, and welcome to Revo Tech Talk, a continuing series of how-to videos to help you maximize your Revo system quickly and efficiently. This edition, how to set up the Revo mobile app on your iPhone, which now has audio monitoring, video search, and PTZ control. Let's get started. We are assuming, before we start, that you have already set up your Revo video monitoring system and have that DVR successfully networked through your business or home's router so that the DVR has no issues with making contact with the internet. If this has not been done, Revo Mobile will not work. You will need to stop and refer back to networking your DVR in the owner's manual before we're proceeding here. To start viewing through your iPhone, you will first, if you haven't done so already, need to go to the App Store and download the Revo Mobile app. After the Revo Mobile app has finished downloading, using your finger, press the app to activate it. You will then need to add your remote site to the application to allow you to see your cameras. Simply press the plus icon to add a new site. The new site window will appear. In the general area, it will say name. Put the name of the location where the DVR is located. This is for you to know which site is which in case you have more than one. For example, home or work one. On connection info, where it says address, you will either put the name of the DVR you set when you first set up your Revo system or the IP address if you're using a static IP address. Refer back to setting up your DVR for more information on this if you have forgotten. Note, the DVRNS name is case sensitive. If you have any capital letters in the DVR name, you will need to make sure it looks the same when adding that DVR to this app. Now, if you're using a DVR name that you named the DVR in setup, you'll want to set Use DVRNS to On. If you are using a static IP, DVRNS should be Off. The port should always be 8016, which is the watch port. The search port will need to stay at 10019, while the audio port will stay at 8116. Finally, where it says Login Info, your user ID will need to be entered as admin, A-D-M-I-N, in all lowercase. If you did not set up a numeric password on your DVR setup, that's fine, leave this blank here. If you did, enter it here exactly as you did on the DVR. Double check to make sure everything is entered correctly. If everything appears to be correct, at the top right press save. It will then direct you back to the Revo mobile app page where you will see the site that you just created. That's it, you're all set up now. Now, to start accessing your DVR, press the site. It will then say from left to right, watch, to watch your cameras live, search, to review previously recorded information, and edit, which will allow you to edit the site information. Go ahead and press watch. Your cameras will then appear in groups of four. You can swipe from left to right to go to the next group of four cameras. To look at one individual camera, you will press the square button located at the bottom left or on the specific camera to go directly to that in the full screen mode. Notice that when in the single camera mode, the icons change at the bottom. The first is the quad view icon to go back to viewing four cameras at one time. To the right of the layout icon, you will see the camera icon, which will allow you to select an individual camera directly without scrolling to it. Next, the speaker icon will allow you to turn on and off audio monitoring for that specific camera. Refer to your DVR owner's manual for which specific channels are audio capable and how to turn on audio monitoring for those channels. Audio monitoring will have to have been enabled from the DVR menu system first before it will ever be able to be monitored through the iPhone. Back in the quad mode, you can monitor how much data you are using by pressing the pie graph icon located at the bottom right. To go back to the site list, press the back button at the top left that says site list. Now, let's go into the search mode, which will allow you to look at your recorded data. Press on the site that you want to review and this time press search indicated by the play icon. One camera will appear on the screen and you will notice it will be paused. Down at the bottom, you will see the navigation box to allow you to play, 
fast forward, rewind, etc. To play the footage that you see in front of you, press the blue play icon located in the middle. Down at the bottom left, you will see an icon indicated by a running man. That is your event search feature, which will allow you to see what cameras had motion and at what time that motion occurred. Press on one of the motion events and the app will take you to the specified camera at that given time frame. The icon to the top right of the event search icon is your calendar search icon, which will bring up a calendar. Each day that has a dot on it means that those are the days that you have available on your hard drive of recorded data for the specific camera we are on. Press on the day that you want to go to and it will be highlighted in blue. Down at the bottom, you will see the time lapse feature. If you want to go to 6 or 7 o'clock that day, simply press the time you want to go to. You can then dial in the exact time where you want to go on that given day and press go at the top right. To the right of the play icon, you will see the camera icon, which will simply allow you to select on what camera you want to search. Finally, the far right icon will show you the amount of data that you are using with this feature. To the upper left of the play icon is the rewind and go to last button, which will take you to the beginning of that day. To the upper right of the play button is the fast forward button and the go to beginning button, which will take you to the most recent event on that day for that specific camera. Remember, searching pre-recorded video via your iPhone works with one camera at a time. You can always go to the event log to have a look at multiple events on multiple cameras that have taken place. To get out of the search mode, go to the top left and press Site List. Down at the bottom right of your Site List screen is your Push Notification feature, indicated by the Running Man icon. When the Push feature is activated, a log of your Push messages will appear here. Naturally, the original push notification would have appeared on your screen at the time of occurrence. Push notifications will only work from your Revo DVRs that are capable of this feature, and it must first be enabled at your DVR. To turn push notifications on at your DVR, go to the Setup at the top right. Then Advanced Setup at the far right. Press Network indicated by the Earth icon, then press the tab at the top right which says push. Finally, you will see the checked box that says push. Make sure that this is checked only next to cameras that you want to receive push notifications from and correct times. Remember, a push notification will be sent every time the camera detects motion, so think this through. A door that has 50 people going in and out of it in an hour will send 50 push notifications an hour to your phone. When all is set, press save. From your phone, you will press on the site and then press edit indicated by the pencil icon. And at the top, it will say push. Make sure it is on and then press save. Once this is set up, you will then get the push notification messages from the times and cameras you pre-selected at the DVR. That's it, that's how easy it is. It should be noted that Revo Mobile works the same for Apple iPad and iTouch. However, screen layouts and icon positions will be different. As always, should you still have any questions regarding your Revo Mobile iPhone app, please don't hesitate to contact Revo Tech Support. Intelligent. Mobile. Remote. Revo. Out of sight. Peace of mind.